brought to you by Brand South Africa. Bronwyn Nielsen caught up with Jeffrey White, the CEO of Lonro, and asked him what traction he saw in the oil and agricultural sector. We're really seeing very strong growth in, in both those sectors. If you look at our first quarter, we were 75% up year on year. Um, and specifically in the agri-logistics, it's about taking African produce, not just to the African consumer, which is growing very quickly, but more and more importantly, it's about taking African produce to the world. So we supply into all the European supermarkets. We're now supplying into Walmart and Costco into the US. We're supplying into the Middle East. And we've just begun to start supplying produce down to China. How competitive is the agri-logistics territory? Um, it's interesting. It's very seasonal driven. One of the great benefits that Africa has, it's got a different seasonal time zone from other global producers. So obviously your largest competitor is South, South America, but there are seasonal advantages when Africa can produce and South America can't. So within those shoulder months, it's a very profitable business. And Jeffrey, how do you see the African continent? Is it a regional play for you or do you investigate each country on an individual basis, each of those 55 countries on the continent? Well, we Lonro only invest in Africa and we're invested in 18 countries currently. And uh, we see it as one potential source of agri-produce that can then get delivered to market. East Africa, West Africa, where, you, where do you have a stronger presence? We're, we're stronger in really the whole of sub-Saharan Africa. So within West Africa, we're very big in oil logistics, which is our, our other division. Uh, we're building a very large new oil logistics terminal to support the oil industry in Ghana. Um, but with an agri perspective, it really all funnels from uh, Angola across to Tanzania and Mozambique southwards, down into the South African marketplace, and then from the South African marketplace to the world. You mentioned Ghana, and obviously the oil logistics project must be very big right now, given that uh, oil is accounting for some 5% of their GDP growth in the latest numbers. Do you think that there are a number of players in that space competing for, for oil logistics, transport logistics? in Ghana? Well, in Ghana, specifically in the oil industry, we're going to build a greenfield new site, which is a, an oil port to support the growth of the oil industry. And, and it's the, the image and the, the problem with lots of parts of Africa. If you look at Ghana's existing ports, they're already congested. They're typically city locked, so there's no spare land. So How we're building does it take a new for facility. a project like that to come to fruition? So from inception to let's go for it now and we can actually transport the oil. Inception was, was just coming up for uh, last August. Um, we should have all the concession agreements and everything in place by this August with the government in Ghana and 18 months after that you'll be up and running. And the, the interesting thing is that uh, the oil industry will struggle to hit its production targets without the right infrastructure to support it. Have you experienced any political challenges on the continent? Uh, listen, I, I, th I, I constantly say politics come and go. What you need is a, a straight playing field. You need to understand the commercial environment you're working in, and you don't need people moving the goalposts. As long as the goalposts stay in place, you can make your budgets, you can do your business, and the politics can look after itself. And then, Jeffrey, just finally one very quick question. If you look at the integration story of the African continent, do you think that the biggest challenge is economics or politics? I think the biggest challenge is getting uh, funds into the country and into the continent to actually develop business. The business opportunities are there. It's very different to working in a European environment where you're fighting 1% market share with your competitors. The reality is our businesses are growing 30% a year just with new demand. So the opportunities there, the demands there, it's putting funds to work to create those businesses.